long time ago, I said you'd always have a place in my company, and that's still true. Unfortunately for you, that place is in the zoo's outbox, because you're fired. It's not all bad, though. As part of your severance package, you get to keep your uniform. Don't worry, I'll take the cost out of your final pay packet. Oh, hello there. It's Emma again. I was so happy to hear the news about Dominic firing you. Oh, sorry. Well, oh, that came across terribly. I simply mean that the timing of your dismissal is extremely serendipitous. You see, remember that something that I mentioned before? <laughs> well, I'm excited to say it has finally come to fruition. <laughs> As a result, I find myself in need of a zoo manager. And while I could do it myself, I'll have bigger fish to fry. <laughs> Let me explain. You see, I plan on constructing a chain of zoos as rivals to those of Mr. Myers. Zoos where both the welfare of the animals and our planet is of paramount importance. The eventual goal? To drive Mr. Myers out of business and rescue the animals he's exploiting. But such a task is not simple. I will need someone like yourself who is qualified to handle the building of the zoos, while I concentrate on the overarching business. So, are you ready to make a difference? Welcome to your new zoo! This should be a much more pleasant experience for you than your recent ones. And it should be more exciting too! Just not in a will I eventually be arrested for being a part of this way as it was with Mr. Myers? Not that your work won't be challenging. I mean, I want this zoo to become a paragon of eco-friendliness. You might say, we want to have a small carbon paw print. <laughs> oh, come on, no, nothing? Fine. All right, welcome to the Nevada State Eco Zoo, one of the last scenarios in the Haunted Zoo base game. And now we're here, and as you can see, this is actually a zoo where you can just build whatever you want to. Which also makes it one of my favorite zoos in the scenario, because, you know, it's the perfect mixture between having to do certain things and having enough space. Unlike with all of Dominic Meyer's zoos that were chaos. Now, we get a lot of space with this one. Where is the water? I think it's like somewhere out here. Yeah, like I can play as fences all the way out here, so yeah, like that. Where's the barrier here? There's the barrier. So we get this huge box and we can do whatever we want to as long as we go by the objectives. So we've been timber wolves, that is the, the funny one, but um, other than that, there's nothing that we have to do. Um So here we are in Nevada and um you know, thankfully, without Dominic Myers for once, I do not miss him at all. <laughs> I do not. Um, right, actually, let's see. No, I'm gonna use a different far thing just because, you know, why not? I really like this wooden one, so let's use that. This is also one of my favorite scenarios in this whole game, so. Yeah. I don't know. It, to me, it once again looks like the map has been changed from the original. I recall a much bigger lake, and I recall it's looking. Whatever, whatever. That's not why we're here. <laughs> um, let's just get started by building. Uh, let's take a look at our achievements. So, for bronze, we need to adopt and place four different habitat species and two timber wolves, which do count to the habitat species. Um, a conservation rating of 1 star and 10% plant diversity ac across at least 3 habitats. Okay, that should be doable. So, for now, let's just build our staff center. Just gonna put them over here. Down the hatch. <laughs> um, down we go. Down. Perfect, then we can do a staff center here. This zoo, as you might tell, is gonna be a little bit challenging because like the main challenge in the beginning is that you essentially have to start at a franchise zoo. But you only have half the money you get when you start a franchise zoo. So we're like doing a franchise zoo in hop mode with additional challenges. And even just getting the facilities is gonna take up some money. So yeah. 
Yes, I know I could save money by placing the ones without the skins, but that's just gonna kill my eyes. And I have a strategy for this, don't worry. I have a plan. If, if the pets would like to connect to the no. Connect, there we go, and then we just need a workshop. That is not a workshop. <laughs> it's the game trolling me, and uh, yeah, we already can't afford anything. As you might have realized, just by placing these guys, yeah. Which we sort of need to do, so... In we go! Now you could pick up a loan, because I don't think we can do anything without a loan, so let's just pick up this loan. Um, which means we're starting with that. I, once again, I'm, I'm gonna talk a lot of shit here, but I recall being able to start this without a loan. Um, but I also played this like ages ago, so I can't promise anything. Um, we also need at least one water clearing thing somewhere around here. So let's just see where we smash that. Like, it only has to be like, connected ones, right? So... Where is my path? Over here. So maybe I'll just do... I want to do like a habitat here. Maybe I'll just pop one like in here with a little care center or something. That should be far away enough that visitors won't care, I hope. Yeah, that's fine. We are going to put a little thing around it because it's still not annoying. Yet. Right, so we're very far away from the old uh, setting of Dominic Myosus, thankfully. Um, meaning I can actually build zoos that look good. <laughs> ah. Goodness, Dominic Mars and the zoos, they're just I don't even know. Like, like whoever designed those zoos must have had a terrible time. Is there no no roof that I can use for this? A wooden plank roof. I mean why not? We are in the Nevada state zoo. Okay. Just a simple wooden plank roof. Can you Why am I even trying to? Why am I even trying to make this look good? No one's gonna care. Except for me. No, we need staff. Woohoo, right? This zoo is gonna be fun. Also, you you can't play if you have like a... I mean, you can play, but you shouldn't have huge depth because then you can't buy anything. And you will have to buy a lot of things. So, for the beginning, we're gonna do two things. One of them is an exhibit, and one of them is a habitat. There's a reason for the exhibit, even though she doesn't, uh, she does have, for one, she does request exhibit species. And on the other hand, they're cheap and they reproduce. Uh, which is good because it gives you money. So let's just grab some of these spiders. Now you want to grab some sort of animal that is uh, likely to reproduce and that is likely to reproduce in larger groups. So, you know, not some sort of animal that has like one young. That's not going to really help you. Just move everything we don't need. I do need that plant. Thank you. And then we're just gonna put our two spiders in there. There we go. Now, as you might know, I normally don't put males and females together because of this endless amount of babies. But in this case, we want a lot of babies. That's fun. Uh, let's just see where we want this. No, no, don't give me the car. That's fun. There we go, no the spiders have it. Um, we can put the vet into research right away. And we can create a work zone right away. We will still have to add the habitat that we're going to build to that work zone later on. But for now, this is perfectly fine. So yeah, people are going to come in to see this guy. Maybe, maybe not. I don't really know. If, uh, I think exhibits on their own aren't enough to attract visitors. We're still gonna put up a donation box there, there we go. <laughs> very, very important. Okay, and now we're gonna... Now, as you can see, once again, we can't place water, so all the water we have is the water here. Um, which is why I already built a filter here, because we're gonna build both of our habitats here. Let's see what we can get. We can get African buffaloes, faction camels, top ears, uh, born and orange returns, gorials... I mean... Yep, we have a fair amount of animals, but in case you couldn't tell, most of them will want access to water. Except for like the snow leopard and the timber wolves. Um, so, that's what we're gonna do. 
Uh, we're gonna have to ensure that the animals have access to water and that you know we have enough water access for all of them. So essentially, we're going to be like a one around the zoo area, like sort of like this. Place it here, and then we're just gonna have habitats around that ring. And our backspin camels and such we can put on the outside because we don't need water. That is the rough rough plan for the zoo. Uh, let's just start. As always, I'm gonna build the flowers, and we just bought African buffaloes. And they need a great three fence over 125. And you know they barely need any water, but you do need to give them access to the water space itself. So that's the case with most animals. Yeah. They don't need a lot of water, except for, like the crocodile and the hippos. But you need to give them access to it. And that by itself is sort of the challenge. And like once you have water, you can really give them how much you want to because, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not like, uh, you know, do whatever you want to. Um, actually, I was thinking this isn't waterproof, right? So I might have to use a barrier with the. Oh, so it is uh, waterproof so that the whole water gets cleared out. I don't know how that works. Um, like wood, which is not water type. So I suppose the water filtration will go through it as well. But that is my hope right now. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work. But I do hope that like this filtration machine here, this filter is going to filter all of this water. Um, it doesn't have energy. That is uh, an unfortunate uh, planning error on my part. But don't fret, we can just save this. There we go. <laughs> really game. Okay. Yeah, th that's the worst part in this game, the pathing. Uh, I won't go off of that. I have yet to have a good experience with the pathing system in this game, like... No. But I can live with it, you know. As long as all I have to worry about is some paths not fitting it perfectly, I'm fine. There we go. So now we've got energy up front as well. Let's make sure we add everything together and we add a door. And now, you know, we're at 14,000, but we're obviously in the negative they get because well, we do have to pay back our loan of 20,000. 25,000 actually. But for now, let's just get this set up. It's very important that you quickly set this up because uh, due to the loan, you will probably run out of money. And you want to have like your basic setup, meaning education boards, donation bins, the animal, the animal's finished habitat. You're gonna have all that before they can come and steal your money. <laughs> um. That's two recycling bins. This is supposed to be a uh, eco zoo. Is our staff going to come and bring the animals? Yes, there they are. Perfect. Now we can already go and remove anything that's in here, like plant wise and such. Because obviously they won't like that. And then let's just wait for these guys to approach. Oh, I hope this thing doesn't have a large net. No, 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 okay. It's fine. Let's wear it for a second. There we go. Two of our buffaloes. Now let's just instantly make sure that they like this place. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of short grass, a lot of long grass. Uh, basically a lot of grass and then soil at the bottom. And maybe a little bit back at the top. There we go. Okay, no, well, let's, yeah, um, there we go. Somehow they believe that they have hard shelter. I, I don't see the hard shelter, but uh, I'm going to leave it. You know, if they think that they have their own hard shelter, I'm not going to question it. We need food. And now, as you can see, this is all not really, not really optimal for placing objects. Thankfully, we do have sculpting tools, so we can go and smoothen everything out so that the animals can actually access it. There we go. They do have water, so they don't need any of that. 
I do plan on giving them one of those basic shelters and just lowering it into the ground a little bit. However much I'd need to to make it look realistic. And then I'm going to fill it up with leaves. See if that creates a nice space for them. Well, no. Don't. Sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. Um, that's sort of the main problem here is, you know, you're building on a hill and like you could terraform the whole hill. But who's going to terraform a full hill? Or like a full island, which I said. Because that's what this is. It's a full island. Um, let's put some bedding in there. There we go. Pretty basic, but we can use it. Um, then we need plants. I know they have the game running, but it's okay. The visitors probably aren't even making it all the way over here, are they? No, 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 they're, they're slowly approaching. Some of them managed to get stuck with their spiders. But one, one lady with blue hair is admiring our spiders. Our Brazilian salmon pink tarantulas. Yeah, okay, they can use it. They can enter it, great. Um, I think these are like tropical and grassland for Africa. Right? Yep. Hmm. I mean, we're obviously in a tropical area here, but it doesn't mean that we can't have tropical plants here. For a zoo, we can do everything. Now, as I said before, these aren't going to be like the... I'm going to say this every time. These aren't going to be the prettiest zoos I built. But, because I do actually like the scenario, I'm going to put a little more work into it. I really like the setting, and I really like the idea behind it. And I like that they gave us a, a franchise zoo where we can build very, very freely. And not a franchise. A scenario zoo. Campaign. Career mode. Whatever you want to call it. There's so many names for it. And like, I know that the official one is, uh, or at least like in the game, it's called a uh, career mode. I would have called it challenge mode, but the challenge mode is the other thing, so yeah. Ah, this one. I really like this tree. One of my favorite trees in the game. Because, you know, you can just add it to a like habitat that's completely green and brown. And it's still gonna look great. So, like, I, I think it's quite cool because, you know, you'll have very blunt habitats if everything is green. Which is gonna be the case with a lot of these setups because you don't have a lot of plants to choose from usually in the savannah setups. So, you know, you'll have a lot of greens, maybe some bushes, maybe some flowers. But your place won't be like the most colorful place ever, which, I mean, if you have tropical, actually it works, which I should have here, but um, I think I do have tropical here, just African tropical. Um, if you go for the South American tropical setting, it's gorgeous. Anyways, these guys are in here. <laughs> They're visiting. Um, sorry. I should really stop eating <laughs> before I do the let's play. It's um, 9 a 9am now. And insane me has decided to start recording. I don't know why I always get up at like 7 or 8am to record stuff. I do wonder about it if I'm on myself. Okay, well there is the leaflet, so I'm gonna have all of them after. Doesn't really matter too much. Um, but, you know, we're already making money, aren't we? Yeah. Hmm. Once again, I hate saying it, but I recall this being more difficult. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's just, you know, me not knowing what I was doing. That is very likely, actually. Oh, it's like the zoo. The zoo price ticket is fair. What's the ticket price, anyways? Five dollars, yeah, okay. What well, makes sense that they wouldn't be happy with that? Let's just reduce it to three. We do want to have guests. <laughs> the ones who just entered are gonna be so angry because, like, all of a sudden the, the ticket price is so low. What do you think about the ticket price now? Yeah. 
that'd be better. Um, also, yes, the guests will have to come all the way here because all the animals that need water we need to have around here. Um, Time for what? We might as well get those then. Um, yeah, let's get two golden ones. Well, like not two golden ones, but like two with a good rate. No, oh, that one's better. Um, I hope they're not from the same. Can I get a good male? Yes. Well, he's sort of old, but his stats are great. Uh, and I'm gonna sell this one. Oh, I can't sell them anymore. Okay, well. Can I have- I think I can have multiple wolf females, it's just that only one of them is gonna breed, right? Yeah. Alpha male, alpha female. Everyone else is gonna breed each other's heads in. No, but like, you can only have two of them breed. Um, which, to be fair, can become annoying if you're trying to like actively breed the animals, but um, as always, if you do that, I just recommend doing different habitats. We're not gonna do that here, because... Uh, I do I, I do recall having two habitats for wolves in the original, so I might be lying here, we might be doing that later on. Um, I don't know yet. We'll see. But I do recall doing it in the last setup. Because you need to breed seven, like you need to have seven lion, uh, seven lion, seven wolf, cops and release them into the wild. Which is quite tricky if you only have one pair of parents, because... No, 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 no. I told you, use this potting. Yes, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Very difficult, apparently. Um, yeah, obvious reasons, I think. Obvious reasons are obvious. Only one of the females and one of the males is going to mate per habitat, so... It's not optimal. Let's actually send her in later. I'm <laughs> just sending these two right now, so that they can become the top... Top group. What do I need for you? A grade two. Okay, that's fine. I am going to turn this into a wood, though, because once again, I... I don't know how they react to being seen from everywhere. I do recall that like hanging platforms above them did stress the animals out, so I'm just gonna put glass on it. You know, we might be permanently low on money, but we are making money, so it's fine. It's just the investment of buying animals and stuff that are gonna pull us down a little bit in the beginning. We'll be fine in the long term. It's not like an undoable scenario or something. You just have to start out slow and uh, you know, be careful of what you do and what you don't do. Or what you what you do and what you shouldn't do, I suppose. I already went shopping too. Thankfully the stores here open up relatively early. Yeah, you don't like the sand, do you? It's always funny when you just go shopping and you see like the, the, the random mixtures of things people have in their shopping carts. I mean, I'm not much better, but I always find it very interesting. I mean, there's always that one guy who just buys three packets of beer, right? We all know that that one will always exist. Um, See how long that stays on? It does stay most of it, yep. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that's the area that are that's the areas that are cooled. This is really an easy way to check if your cooling system is okay or not. Uh I don't want to go too far out with the cooling because you're gonna have animals next to these guys, right? But then this side, but on the other side, there are going to be animals next to them. So I'm gonna be a little careful about placing these. About moving it here. Also, we should probably also place them some, place some food and search for them. In the wolves. Food tray. I'm gonna give them. Actually, this shelter here is like pretty cool. It's still a basic shelter, which, as you guys probably know by now, I'm not the biggest fan of these guys. Also, because they somehow kind of spill and when you try to place anything in them. It, it naturally angle snaps them. Sometimes switches. I mostly have that issue with this one because you're trying to place it on top of something. The other ones that don't have like flooring, they're fine. But these guys with flooring, it's just so hard to properly place anything. 
We do have to give them water pipes because we don't have water here. Okay, and now let's take care of the rest of the terrain and see if the snow is actually going to stay around. Seems like it. I'm just going to go in and like use sand to get the border done. Roughly. I will be fixing it in a second. It's a little hot down here. Um, down here I don't really care about whether you know other animals are close by and are gonna get caught. Um, here I do care a little, so let's just try to do it like this. Now, yes, you do need like a buckload of, of, of coolers for this stuff, probably. Just gonna do some some rock terrain here. And maybe some soil across the place. Like I just don't think that the whole just snow look is very realistic. Um, so I'm gonna take snow with a low intensity and just sprinkle it on top. There we go. That's okay. What's the temperature now? Yes, see, this is okay. There's like no really cold areas outside. Yeah. So the question is, are we making money? Probably not, right? Yeah. Like as soon as you get the wolf, it's gonna go down. Probably because of the freaking food cost of the wolves. Mm. Also, the, the loan repayment is gonna kill our ass. This is normal for the zoo. Uh, at least I've always had this issue. Maybe you need to like just keep this habitat for a while and then generate money. That might be an option. I have not tried that yet. But um, for now, let's just quickly finish building this place. Um, I know that these guys are pretty unspecial, like unspecific. They're um, Asia, Europe, and North America. I believe tundra, taiga, and uh, temperate. Yeah, it's gonna give us a bunch of things to work with. They, these animals are really cool for plant life. You can put them into almost every zoo, and they're still gonna have the plant life they want. Like no matter where you are. Because that's just how cool wolves are. I really, really love them. Like wolves, wolves are gorgeous. Um, not too far away from where I grew up, there's been wolf sightings now. So actually pretty cool. I mean, all of the farmers are panicky, but I, like I get why they are panicky. <laughs> they need to worry about their animal, and we have like a lot of farmers, like like small farmers who have like their, you know, the usual ten sheep and something. <laughs> Who really can't? Damn it! Who really can't spend their whole day just trying to keep their animals safe? But uh, it's pretty cool. Nonetheless, that we have wolves, you know. I find it cool. I can hear all of the farmers cursing me in the back. How dare you like them? It's sort of like a, an ingrown hate, but really. You know, ask a farm and they're all gonna tell you that wolves are horrible because they kill their animals, their livestock. Um, I mean, once again, like they're allowed to say that because if you keep animals, no matter for what reason, you know, whether you keep them for meat or for anything, uh, or just like as pets, if, if some random thing comes along and kills all of them, you'd be pissed. Like, I think anyone would be pissed at that. So, like, I'm not gonna go into like it's not their right to be angry at them, it's just. I find it very interesting because uh, we always have like this sort of like the you know the activists who really want to keep the wolves alive and, and everyone who thinks the wolves are great and then two meters next to them there's the uh, people who think that the wolves are horrible. <laughs> mm. And there's just like no third faction. It, it's what sorry, class. It's sort of like politics in the U.S. You know, like there's two big factions and even if there is a third one, you can't see it. But yeah, we're still taking care of the others, but for now we just have to get the animals through this while making money. Mm. So yeah, all we have all year is this like is like this debate with whether you know you're allowed to shoot the wolves or if if they enter your area, if they enter your farm or whatever and all that. Um Are you okay? Yeah, she's pregnant, that's great. So that's always a big thing. Um Thankfully there haven't been any issues concerning other animals, it's, up until now it's just been wolves. We don't have like any other bigger uh, 
I suppose animals that could be threatening. Just, you know, foxes and all that, but uh, most people don't really care about those. Oh, hello, Simington. Look, it's a great golden wall. This is gonna. This is a great screenshot. It, it so does not fit the scenario because the scenario is the Nevada State because I went, no game, stop it. I, I can't see what's going on right now because the game is doing that thing again. Um, where I don't actually see the game while taking a screenshot. And I know it just takes screenshots. I just don't know what else it's doing. And I don't know, sometimes this happens sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. And it's only when I'm recording and uh, I have no idea where it comes from. I also can't do much. I can just like choose to take a picture, but I don't know if it takes a picture. Um, oh, this is a Michigan. I'm just gonna keep this as like a, a picture in here. Worst case, I can. I wasn't even trying to take a picture. Okay, it did apparently take a picture, so that's something. <laughs> um, I haven't yet figured out why this happens because it, it doesn't seem to happen in any like specific zoos. It happened in some scenario zoos and it happened once when I was recording my franchise zoo, but then in the same franchise it didn't happen later on. And I always have my uh, recording settings set to the same. Also, I've been talking so much, I realized we're already at the 31 minute mark. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> uh, you know, gonna, gonna end this episode here, I'm afraid. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, leave a comment, uh, you know, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope I'll see you again in the next episode.